try to be as honest as I can, but um, I don't know. If you don't have to be honest. I mean, I could talk in theory. We could talk in theory? Yeah, I could just babble in theory. That way I don't know anything firsthand from you. Can we do that? We could do that. I was not on a medical. I have no medical problems like that. I, I went on. Good. I went away for two weeks, basically. Okay. Um, the doctor who's a friend of the family. I'm calling this my family medical leave time. Uh, I mean, that's one way of covering it up. What would a teacher's union president do if presented with a scenario where a teacher hit and possibly bloodied a student in an act of racial animus? And what if the teacher had then taken off for a two-week vacation in Mexico without telling the school? Project Veritas had been tipped off that union officials would go to extraordinary lengths to protect one of their members. But what we heard when we went undercover into union offices across the country still shocked us. If there was, you know, that, that if racial slur was, was used and simultaneous well, to what, if, if there was I violence. Would, I would assume they would want you to go for um, uh, racial training. Okay. Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. Kumbaya training. You, you, you throw us under the rug? Yeah, throw okay. us under the rug. Yeah. You're, 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 you're okay with that? Yeah, what the hell? You're just going to smile and suck it up, and you don't talk to anybody. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care if the phys ed teacher you okay. went to high school with. You don't fucking tell anybody anything. All right. And if I have to hit you in the back of the, hit him in the back of the head, what if he does? You don't okay. tell anybody. When I was in Mexico, I was I was so nervous about everything that I, I, I learned how to knit a little bit it's sort of just to just it's a hobby of mine you know so um i wanted you to have this well, i could have a family yeah. member in mexico or something like that you could yeah. your, your, your parents could have been or your cousin could have been down there or your brother could have been down there yeah. and they were you know uh taken by drug dealers so i should be in school right now but i'm Enjoying this pina colada. Hola, viva la Mexico. <laughs> Should be working, but I'm on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to be teaching, but I decided to take a couple weeks off. It's good. It's good. <laughs> hey, Union thinks I'm, um, you know, I got a family in a crisis, but I'm just on vacation. Yeah. It must be nice. It is nice. I'm not a teacher, <laughs> um, but I'm a volunteer out of school, and um, I've seen a couple of incidences, but I'm not really sure what to do. Okay. This is Paul Diamond. He is a senior union official in Yonkers, New York, just north of Manhattan. What's the, what's the scenario? Um, well, I have a, a friend who got in a little bit of a scuffle with um, one of the students. Um, it was a couple weeks ago. Nothing's happened since. Nobody has said anything. The kid hasn't said anything. There's been no parents. What was the nature of the... Was it a physical thing? Yeah. Okay. So, what happened? Um, is it okay to, to tell you? Yeah. Okay. I just don't want... Um, well... To get if, anyone if, if in trouble. The child, if the child was attacked by a teacher, then the, they have had a recourse in, in, in this department. Yeah. If that's what happened. If a teacher is attacked by a child, there's a superintendent's hearing. And also police, depending on the age of the child. So, if somebody was harmed, there was, there was a way for the harmed person to, to react. Yeah. If nobody chose any of those remedies, uh -huh. I, I don't know how serious of a harm it was. I, mean, I don't even know the details of what you're talking yeah. about. If it, in this litigious world, if a teacher smacked a kid and the, and the mother doesn't take the school district to court, they're missing out on a financial boom. <laughs> okay, see, um, we really don't think anything's going to happen because of it. We don't think, there, it's been weeks. Um, the kid doesn't seem to want to come forward he doesn't seem to want to come forward okay well um it doesn't seem like the kid i mean i think he was there might have been some bruises um 
I don't, it doesn't seem like he went to the hospital or anything, but I guess I don't know. I didn't bring him. Exactly, yeah. So I guess if the kid does come forward now, is there... The teacher should just call us immediately. Okay. Um, and the teacher should not participate in any um, interview or investigation. Um, and should say the phrase, I feel this can become disciplinary, I want some of the you know all this. And my friend shouldn't say anything if the kid doesn't say anything? I mean, I don't, not for my friend, I don't, I don't think so. We returned to the same union office several days later. This time, I posed as the teacher in question. I try to be as honest as I can, but um, I don't know. If you don't have to be honest. I mean, I could talk in theory. We could talk in theory? Yeah, I could just babble in theory. That way I don't know anything firsthand from you. Can we do that? We can do that. Okay. That's that. Okay, that, so be that. I think there are three scenarios that, I'm, well, that could possibly occur. Everybody forgot about it, okay. which sounds like something that happened three weeks ago and nothing's being done about it sounds like it's been forgotten. It's almost a month now. Well, maybe, like you said, talking in hypotheticals, but if I, I don't, hypothetically, um, if the uh, student, um, if there was, it was, if there was an altercation, if there, it was physical, and if there was, if hypothetically there was some, you know, some, some it was, it was pretty bad. If it was, it was blood, and, but the student just didn't remember. Um, you know, is that, is that going to be an well, issue? If there was blood, I guess my question would be, and again, if there was blood three and a half weeks ago, I would ask if proper medical procedures took place three and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And if the answer to that is no, and I were the building principal, mm -hmm. I really wouldn't want that public, public, publicized, that that kid was bleeding and that then it was not proper, properly, if the kid wasn't taken to the nurse. If the kid was taken to the nurse, I believe that nurses ask questions about how things occurred. Mm -hmm. And if there was a situation of corporal punishment, and the nurse was aware of it, she's a mandatory reporter of child abuse. And if she didn't report child abuse, and the teacher would have known about that, right. at that around that time, and she didn't report the child abuse, she might not want to risk her license by saying, oh yes, three and a half weeks ago there was child abuse. There was one other aspect of this too, if, if there was one other aspect that the, the kid in, in this particular circumstance was, was African American. And um, there, there was a sort of racial aspect, but again, if the kid didn't remember that, you know, that's that's the issue. If there are war, this I know also for a fact from the code of conduct. If there are, um, if there are racial um, epithets, well, I guess that has to be reported, but. Uh, Where were these these comments were made in the heat of the moment? Most likely, yes. Yeah. And there were no other results around? None. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, I, if 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 somebody had if somebody had made a racial comment against me, I would have addressed it right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. If yeah. if, if that happened. In this hypothetical situation, there probably were not anyone around, and and uh, the student may have just been too young to understand what was happening, and and I, I don't think anyone is going to recall the incident because there was just there, there were just weren't any witnesses right. in in this hypothetical situation. But those are the two major items, in, in that and you know as we're as I'm thinking about what could possibly happen here, uh, those are the two potential. Things I was concerned about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty safe. I mean, even if it's not safe, mm -hmm. it, it bolsters your it, it, every day. It's to your ability to defend. You are a tenured teacher, and you have tenure means you can only be dismissed if the board convinces a stranger that they're right. How hard is that sure. to do? Well, you have a record. Yes. 
So no arbitrator is going to take your livelihood away from you for one incident. Just for just for that one incident, right. they're not going to do may, it. They may do they they they've done this, but not over getting uh, corporal punishment. Corporal punishment I've seen in this district be a letter to file, which was so stupid because it just it just made the kid win the law case, um, the legal battle. Um, and I've seen for other reasons I've seen discipline consist of four months off payroll, which is a leap, um, which happens in the private sector a lot. Mm -hmm. But I can't see an arbitrator taking your future away from you for one moment of bad judgment. If there was, you know, that that if racial slur was was used and w simultaneous well, to what, if if there was I violence, would, I would assume they would want you to go for um, uh, racial training. Okay. Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. Kumbaya training. Is that what it's called? No. <laughs> That's what you call it. There's a name for it. sensitivity training. That's mm. what it's okay. Mm, yeah. All right. Then we raised the stakes, saying after the incident, I left town without notice and spent some time on a beach in Mexico. If you're absent, the reason I, I was I was gone for two I was gone for two weeks. Do you have doctor's notes? I do not. Has anybody asked you for doctor's notes? No, and it's and I'm a little shocked. I, I don't nothing. Yeah. Could you get a doctor's note? No, I was not. I was not on a medical. I have no medical problems like that. I I went on. I went away for two weeks, basically. Okay. Um, do you have a doctor who's a friend of the family? I do. I do have, I do in Yonkers. Mm -hmm. um, because you're not allowed to be absent for more than three consecutive days. Well, you can be absent for more than three consecutive days, but the board is allowed to require um, I'm surprised the board didn't have you. As we were talking, Patricia Paleo, the president of the Yonkers Teachers Federation, joined the conversation. There was an event about three and a half weeks ago that we don't want to revert. Okay. okay. Well, Untenured? Tenured. 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 Oh, Tenured. God bless. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 very, I'm very lucky, yeah. Yes. And when I tell you to vote on some way, vote that way, just trust me on that. You, you dropped out of existence. Yeah, okay. pretty much. I would... I would suggest, even if you have to take the financial hit, mm -hmm. you should write a letter of explanation saying, uh, I, I, I can only express for deep personal reasons that there was this horrific event in my family, or vague, mm -hmm. but something but vague, mm -hmm. and that I had to immediately uh, attend to the area. Please feel free, uh, I'm calling this my family medical leave time. Uh, I mean, that's one way of covering it up. I mean, he was so distraught that he literally had to take care of the well, situation. It might take a hit financially, but... He, he, has anybody said anything to him? Not yet. And you've been gone for two weeks. Yeah. And you didn't call Subfinder? ASAP. Well, some, ASAP. I didn't, I didn't do anything. That the, the trauma from this situation... You didn't? Just yes or no? I don't, I don't need... Okay, you didn't call in? No. You didn't call in. All right. Well then, when confronted with it, yeah. Yeah. you are falling on your sword and just admitting that there was such a grave financial. Uh, well, a, a, such a mind-blowing grave numbing, yeah. numbing yeah. that that it consumed your entire being. Uh, okay. And and uh, if they need to know what it is. Look up family medical leave. We probably could give you a copy here, and it's probably going to fall into one of those things. And you know, you had reached out to the union office as to what to do. God damn those people! They didn't call me back. I didn't know what to do. I was dealing with this situation. Okay. It, what? What? Um, I don't right? know. Right? Isn't the, that good? Yeah. That's good. God damn those people! They didn't call <laughs> me back. I didn't know what to do, and I was waiting so for them. They're talking about you. I should say that about about the, the you, union. You throw us under the bus. Yeah, throw okay. us under the bus. Yeah. You're okay with that? Yeah, what the hell? We didn't answer the phone. We we didn't get back to you. I left a message. I left them two messages. I didn't know what to do. You know, I was out of my mind. I did, you know. And then when they, if they bring it to us, Pat will say, that's because you keep us so busy with all your other crap, you don't have to call <laughs> and I, I, I'll say, well, we have a new phone system. And I have to tell you that yeah. the, the phone messages are going to my phone. And, and you know what? There was a phone call, but this crazy person, I know it was male. But I, I didn't know I, he didn't leave his freaking name. He was all upset about this condition. He didn't give me he and didn't give me a name or his phone number. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what to do with it, you know. And I'm not going to call you and say I have a teacher. I don't know who right, it is because right, right. I didn't want that teacher to look bad. 
Okay. Oh, it's, but, but it's always the union's fault. Well, no. You're going to look at the reasons that people can oh, take so family that. medical leave. Oh, it's do in the file. Copy? You have a copy? Uh, yes, it's okay. in the file. Okay. I know so I have it You're going to leave with it, and you're going to look. Well, I could have a family yeah. member in Mexico or something like that. You could. Yeah. Your, your, your parents could have been, or your cousin could have been down there, or your brother could have been down there, yeah. and they were, you know, uh, taken by drug dealers, and you literally had to go bail them out, and you didn't know what to do, and you lost your mind. You know, people lose their mind. It was an emergency. Yeah. Look, you fall on your sword. Yes, so right. I, I failed in my duty to call in and say I need emergency family medical leave. I failed to do that. The worst I'll do is deduct you to two weeks' pay. That's it. Yes, you heard that right. The president of the Yonkers Federation of Teachers is suggesting that I lie to school officials and say that I went to Mexico because a family member had been kidnapped by drug dealers. And if they ask me any more specifics, I... I, I like you know, to look at the, It has legal ramifications for my cousin, and their lawyer says, just leave it alone. If it's a medical, re you're going to look at what it is, okay. and you're going right. to fit it into what the criteria was, All right. so that, yes, you failed to call in, shame on me, I was was on the family medical leave, I, I called the union office, nobody answered my question. I was in uh, and, crisis, and, and yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know what to do, okay. and, and if they get Are more you on your lunch hour now? Yeah. You sure? I gotta go back. But before I could leave, the union president had another piece of emphatic advice. You're just gonna smile and suck it up and you don't talk to anybody. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care if the phys ed teacher you okay. went to high school with. You don't fucking tell anybody anything. All right. And if I have to hit you in the back of the, hit him in the back of the head, what if he does? You don't okay. tell anybody. Un understood. All right? Understood. Understood. Because and we I'm all loose lips sink ships. Indeed, they do. When I was in Mexico, I was I was so nervous about everything that I, I I learned how to knit a little bit, <laughs> and I made these these ponchos and and um, Show them, it's sort of just to, just it's a hobby of mine, you know. So um, I wanted you to have this, and uh, just thank you for everything you guys do for us. There's a company down there, and I would work with them and just to pass the time and, and, and de-stress me, mm -hmm. all the stress. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Ellie, I gotta get back to school. <laughs>